Welcome back. This morning we are joined by Oklahoma City Mayor David Holt for our Thursday chats. And Mayor Holt, good morning. Thanks for talking with us here on News 9. Absolutely. Good morning. Let's first talk about the new police reforms that have just been approved by the City Council. Can you quickly tell us what that does entail? Sure. This is uh, 18 months in the making. We, we started a task force in the summer of 2020 in response to community concerns that, that came up in that summer. And you know, it's, it's had great buy-in from a lot of different perspectives. They've worked through these issues. I feel like we've handled what could be really contentious issues in the best spirit of Oklahoma City's political culture, which is we have talked through these things and we have found common ground. And uh, these 39 recommendations came to council this week. Uh, council received them in an 8-1 vote. And uh, now, you know, it moves forward into implementation. And each one of them is going to have their own process, um, and, and it's far, far more complicated than we could go into here. But definitely go to OKC.gov if you want to read the report. But one thing I would say is when these recommendations went public uh, a few months ago, you know, the police chief said that he thought they were all reasonable. And that, that spoke mm -hmm. a lot to me that we really had found common ground. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm, I'm uh, optimistic as we move forward, and uh, I think uh, we'll have a better police department out of it. But obviously a lot of people feel we have a great police department now. Uh, and actually, most crime rates are down over the last four years. But but that's not what it's all about. You know, this is about uh, different sectors of our community feeling that uh, the police department is meeting their needs as well. And I think this will help with that. Uh, over the weekend, the Skydance Bridge was lit up in blue and gold in solidarity with the Ukrainian people. Why is it so important for Oklahoma City and Oklahoma to show support for the Ukrainian people? Well, one thing that has seemingly united people across the political spectrum in the United States these past two weeks has been the situation in Ukraine. I think everybody uh, stands with Ukraine. And, you know, so it wasn't too controversial to, to go ahead and make that request that we light up the Skydance Bridge in solidarity with the people of Ukraine. So I think it's just anything we can do. Obviously, um, sometimes we can feel a little powerless. Uh, being many thousands of miles away and, and that there's not much we can do. But I think if we can lend moral support like that, then that's at least one thing we can try to do. And and from what I understand, you know, I think the, the leadership in Ukraine has certainly seen those efforts around the around the world. And, and it does help. It does lend moral support and, and it does encourage them in what they're doing. So uh, I'm glad we could do that. Well, Mayor Holt from Miami this morning at the mayor's conference there. Mayor, have a great day. Thanks for uh, calling us here in Oklahoma today. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a great day.